Hello everyone, this is Gamo Edits and welcome back for another video. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create an animated 3D rotating slide zoom in Microsoft PowerPoint. This effect is engaging and eye-catching for your next presentation. I will also be using some stunning photos from 123RF which are not only stunning but also useful for your presentation. So first things first, we need to open Microsoft PowerPoint. I'll be using Microsoft PowerPoint 365 for this tutorial. The theme of this presentation will be my travel bucket list. Therefore, I need to find beautiful photos from the internet. With that, I want to introduce you to 123RF, a powerful website where you can find stock photos suitable for personal and commercial use. The photos on this website are categorized and organized. Moreover, they offer different sets of videos for use in presentations and video editing. They also provide 3D icons and vectors which are perfect for your graphic needs. Furthermore, they also have different sets of stunning fonts that you can browse here. And they also have a variety of audio options for background music and other uses. Additionally, they offer various AI tools such as the AI Image Generator. With this tool, all you have to do is to describe the image you want to see and 123RF will automatically generate it for you. There's also the AI Writer functioning similarly to ChatGPT where you can ask questions and receive answers. Moreover, they offer AI tools like the AI Remove Background and AI Background Remix. As the name suggests, these features remove backgrounds and replace them with professional backgrounds. Another tool they offer is the AI Image Extender, which extends your image using AI Generative Fill to fit different aspect ratios. Furthermore, they plan to introduce more AI features to this powerful site. Let us now try to browse and download photos from this. Let's search for the photo of Taj Mahal, which is basically my first destination for this presentation. So let's click the Enter and let's look for stunning photos of Taj Mahal. There are a lot of photos for you to choose, so let's try to shift the search into free basic collection so we can see the free photos that we can actually download for free. For example, this first photo here, once I click that, as you notice, there is a logo of 123RF, but once we download this photo, this logo will be or this watermark will be removed. Just click the download and hit this free download option. And we just successfully download the photo. Now let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation so we can enter this photo. Under the insert tab, click the picture and select the picture we just downloaded. For example, this Taj Mahal picture. And we can also choose layout design provided by the designer. You can see the designer option in the home tab and then the designer. So then you can choose different layout options for your photos and then after that we can add a shape which will be our text box where we can add of course the text and then we just customize this by removing the outline and changing its color to like a gradient one so for the first point black on the second color point it's also black on the second color or the last color, we will change the transparency into 100 and change the direction to right. And then adjust this shape so we can make it larger for our text. And then we can now add our title. For this slide, we will name it as Taj Mahal. So let's customize these letters by selecting a font, for example. Let's add this font, which is basically one of my favorite font. This one, New York. And then we're going to change the color into white, make it bigger, and choose the bold font. Add shadows, and then make it larger. And then properly align the text to the text box we just added. After that, we can now add the description for this. So there's another feature in 123RF where we can add or we can ask question and they will provide the answer. So let's go back to 123RF. So let's choose this AI generator tools and choose this AI writer. And this one um, works like a chat GPT. 
so let's start trying this one so what we're going to do here is we will ask a question or we will write a command to 123RF for example write a short introduction or background about Taj Mahal in three sentences so we just commanded here and then 123RF will generate information about your questions or about your command. Simply, we will copy the text provided by 123RF. And then we will go back to our PowerPoint presentation and then paste the info we just acquired from 123RF AI Writer. So we will just paste the text. And then we will change the color into white and then change the font. So you can design however you want. So let's make this one bigger and we will move this and I think this is good. So fast forwarding this tutorial, I already prepared other slides such as the Eiffel Tower, Great Wall of China and the Machu Picchu. And the pictures here were also from the 123RF stock library. So the description, you can also use the AI writer for this or you can search from the internet. And now for the main highlight of this tutorial, the slide zoom, we will add a new slide just above the first slide here, insert new slide. So click the new slide and then make sure that it is a blank slide. And then we will format the background to like a gradient blue one. So click this gradient and then choose the first color, the darker blue. Now we're going to change the direction of the gradient into this. Now it's time to add a photo and let's go back to 123RF. I want to include a businesswoman that is using a binocular. So I'm going to search that here and then hit the enter from my keyboard and then let's look for free photos that we can use. And as you can see, I think this one is the perfect choice for me. And then we're just going to click the free download option. And now that it is downloaded, we can now go back to our presentation proper and then insert the photo we just downloaded. And then we're going to remove the background from this since I only want the person who is holding the binoculars and I want to remove the sky. And now we can mark the areas to keep. Okay, just like that. And then just continue the process until you are satisfied with the cutout. Just like this and then we can zoom right here and then remove this white thing just like that. Once you are satisfied, you can click the keep changes and then you can resize the photo or the cutout for this businesswoman holding a binocular or someone who is using a binocular and then we can now add our title. For example, here I will add a slide title of slide zoom and then we're going to change the font the color and its size so let's try this 100 size for the font and then we'll just copy that and then paste and then change the word to zoom all right and then properly align the title to each other now we're going to bring this to front just right click and then bring to front and then we will copy this zoom word and then paste and under the shape format we will remove the fill of the text and then add an outline of white and then place it just above the original text just like that and then we will remove the shadow and this is just an additional design you can do it but you can also I skip that part and then let's just align this and that's good now it's time to add the slide for the slide zoom under the insert tab zoom and then slide zoom and then select all the slides you want to include onto your dashboard slide for example these five slides and then properly arrange these slides onto your slide according to the space or according to the space you have on your slide for example we can resize this slides just like that now 
we can actually add a 3D rotation for this slide. Just click the slide under the zoom tab, zoom effect, 3D rotation, and then choose the filter effect for your 3D rotation. For example, this one. Just click that. And then we're going to add another effect, which is the bevel for the 3D effect. And then you can arrange or rotate the slide according to your preference. And for the next slide, we have this one, the Eiffel Tower. We're going to adjust its size under the Zoom tab. And then Zoom Effect, 3D Rotation, and choose the rotation that you want. For example, this one. Perfect. And now we're going to add a Bevel Effect. Just like that. And then you can adjust it like this. Now for the next slide, which is this one, the Taj Mahal. Same process, zoom effect, 3D rotation, and then apply the rotation that you want for this slide. For example, this one. Now we're going to add the bevel effect. So why are we adding this bevel effect? So look at this. So this is the bevel effect. It's like a 3D canvas. And now for this two remaining slide, we're just going to repeat the process of adding the 3D rotation effect and then adding the bevel effect. For example, this one, we're going to add the rotation just like that. And then add the bevel effect. And lastly, for our last slide, the New York one, we're going to add a 3D rotation just like what I said earlier. And then add the bevel effect. Now we can rotate it like this, resize, and then properly arrange it to match the other slide. We can also add additional design for the slides. Just select all the slides and then under the zoom tab, click the zoom effects and then shadow. And just make sure to click the return to zoom option for each slide. And now here is the preview so far for this tutorial. Once I click this slide, it will go to that slide. And once I click that slide again, it will go back to our dashboard slide. Same principle will be applied to other slides. Once we click the slide, it will zoom into that slide. We can also add additional animation for this slide. Just select all the slides and click the animation top. So under the animation tab, we can add animation and click this more and we will select the down option and then we will customize the starting and ending point for each slide. The red dot represent the ending point of the animation. So just adjust it like this and apply this as well to other slides. We will just move the red dots. So this will be the ending point of the animation for that slide. Repeat the process to the remaining slides. So just click this red dot and then move upwards. Just like this. Make sure that there is enough space between the green dot and the red dot. Now, we're going to click the animation pane and then select all the slides and then click this arrow button and click this start with previews and then go back to that arrow and then click the effect options and then we're going to click this auto reversed and then the timing we will select the until the end of slide and then click OK. Here is the final output for this tutorial. Once I click on that slide, it will zoom into the specific slide. You might also notice the 5 slides slightly moving up and down from the dashboard slide. This effect or feature is engaging and captivating for the audience. Additionally, with the assistance of 123RF stock photos, our presentation becomes more sophisticated and visually appearing. If you'd like to try 123RF, simply click the link in the description. Again, this is Gamo Edits and thank you for watching.